Hello, it is currently August 31st. I might watch another movie by the end of the day, but I'm not, if I do, I'll add it on at the very end. Um, so far, I've watched 22 movies in the month of August, and I'm gonna be sharing them with you guys. The first movie that I watched was Not Okay. Um, I watched this primarily because I fucking loved the, the main actress. I don't remember her name, the main actress. I loved her in Zombieland, Double Tap. I thought she was fucking hilarious. So when I found out that they were doing like a satire on like social media, I was like, you got me there, I'll watch it. Yeah, it was fine. It's definitely unlikable. But also like unlikable where like you understand her thought process. So it's very interesting. Um, Next I watched Tamara from 2005, which is basically about a bull, it's kind of like Carrie. It's like a bullied girl who um, gets killed but she was really into witchcraft, so when she dies, she comes back, and she's, like, hot. And she's, like, you know, trying to fuck everybody up. I watched it because it was one of those, like, good-for-her movies. That's pretty much it. Um, it was kind of like a shittier version of Ginger, Ginger Snaps, which Ginger Snaps is, like, one of my favorite movies. Um, so, you know. Um, next, I watched documentary Tickled. Watched it on HBO, um, 2016. It was fucked up. If you like Netflix true crime documentaries, watch this one. Um, I don't want to give you a lot. Basically, it's a lot of, like, blackmail and fetish shit about tickling. I was never really into shark movies. Other than Jaws. I'd seen Jaws, obviously. Um, but I watched 47 Meters Down. The original and Uncaged. Uncaged was fucking, it was better. It was better than the original. It was like 10 times better than the original. Yeah. <laughs> so it's literally people getting chased by sharks. Next, I watched Satanic. Cause I, from 2016, because it has the chick from Modern Family in it. And I kept getting re it recommended. And I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll watch it. It was not good at all. <laughs> it was not good at all. All of the characters were fucking unlikable. I didn't like anybody. Except the chick from Modern Family. She was okay. Um, next I watched Thoroughbreds from 2017 and I actually really liked it. Um, if you have been putting off watching this movie, you should watch it because I put it off for a really long time and I watched it and I was like, you know what? I get it. I get the Anya Taylor, Anya Taylor Joy. I think that's how you say her name. I get the hype. I get it. I get it. Um, next I watched The Black Phone. Phone. Yes. I watched it with a friend in a movie theater. Because we were bored. It wasn't bad. I like Ethan Hawke. I do. I think he's a good actor. Um, so that was like one of the like... The kid performances were actually really good. Um, so... If a movie has like good child actors... Like, I'll give it some points. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't... It was fine. It was more of... It wasn't a slasher. It was more of, like, a drama. Like, think, like, Prisoners with Jake Gyllenhaal. But, like... With a creepy mask. Anyways, next I watched Sleepaway Camp 1 and 2. I had never seen any of the Sleepaway Camp movies before. Um, I had been putting them off because of uh, obvious reasons. But I actually really liked Angela. And I know that that's not the point of those movies. You're not supposed to side with the murderous trans girl. But you know what? I did. I sided with her. Everybody else was a fucking creep. I liked Angela. Anyways. I watched Look Away from 2018. I watched this because I realized that the daughter of, um, god I don't remember her name. The woman who played, um... Juliet in the Romeo and Juliet, like the old one that you watch in like English class, the one with the dude that looks like Zac Efron, and Black Christmas, her daughter, stars in this movie. And I was like, shit, let me watch it. This movie was fucking sad. It was a sad movie. I wasn't ready for it. I didn't think it'd be sad, and it was. Um, I watched Urban Legend 1 and 2, the final cut. Um, the first one was actually really good. I did get a, um,
100%. I got a Jared Leto jump scare. Yeah, Jared Leto jump scare. I ran out of We gotta go a little faster. Um, yeah, they were fine. They were very, like, Scream-esque. Um, next I watched Dashcam, which was a found footage movie, and the main character in this movie was so fucking unlikable. It honestly made me want to turn it off at points. Next I watched Alice in Murderland. Um, this movie had porn acting, but it was kind of camp. So, like, I'll give it a couple points. Next, I watched Cabin Fever, the remake. Um, I actually really liked it. The 2016 one, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fresh. It reminded me of Evil Dead. And I love Evil Dead. So, it did kind of feel like an Evil Dead ripoff at points. But, I like Evil Dead. So, you know what I mean? Um, next, I watched American Psycho 2. And I watched this because I kept seeing the coquette however you say it, bitches on TikTok being like, if only we had an American Psycho for the girls. So I watched the girl American Psycho. And in doing this, I learned that the original movie wasn't even supposed to be American Psycho 2. It was just supposed to be its own female serial killer movie, which I think it would have been a lot fucking better if they wouldn't have tried to tie it into Patrick Bateman. If it would have just been like a female serial killer movie, I think it would have been a lot better. Um, I watched the second. I still know what you did last summer. I actually liked it better than the first. It was better than the first. Um, I watched Freaky, which I fucking loved this. I didn't think I would, but I really liked it. I thought it was funny. Um, very, so I love Happy Death Day. I think those movies are really funny. It's made by the same guy. Um, yeah, funny, gory, good. Next, I watched Bad Batten, which is a found footage made by a old man. And I couldn't tell if he was actually Republican or if he was making fun of Republicans. So it was kind of like, I don't know, like really, really, really low budget paranormal activity. But like, I respect it. I respect that he wanted to do something and he did it. I respect that. That man is a true creative. Um, next I watched the Love Chinny Bio and Other Delusions of Movie because I watched the anime. I thought it was cute. Next I watched Bodies, 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 which was fucking hilarious. I'll be completely honest. Um, also, I thought it was Amanda. Amandala Stenberg. We're gonna put the, the girl that plays Sophie. I kept seeing tweets online that were like, oh, it was literally just uh, an hour and a half long advertisement for her boobs. Bullshit. Not once. Like, I, I was like, oh, well, maybe she's wearing like a revealing costume. It's a fucking tank top. Never was I, I distracted from the plot because of her body type. Like, that wasn't even a thing that went through my head while I was watching it. So, I think that's like a personal issue. The majority of the movie, I was pointed, I was focused on how fucking funny the chick that plays Alice is. Yeah, um, that was, that's what I watched in August. I hope you have a good day, and goodbye.